Good evening, AGCS community. We are back again for another edition of our Sunday Evening Book Club. Tomorrow, we are celebrating Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Uh, we're celebrating him and all the amazing things that he did. Um, we also have a teacher in service on Tuesday. Well, two days off. Yeah. What a nice long weekend. Yeah, so I hope you have some fun things planned for the weekend or just some nice relaxing family time because that's also needed often. Um, but this upcoming week when you return to school on Wednesday, we have some fun assemblies happening. I know third grade, what assembly does third grade have? Third grade has, has the Chinese New Year celebration. So Mrs. Chen from State Road and some of her students in her higher level Chinese classes are coming over and presenting to the third grade all about the Chinese New Year. We're really excited. Another taste for third grade of State Road. That's right. So I'll be interested. I'm sure I'm going to learn something. Absolutely. Lifelong learners, we're always learning something. Then I believe um, second grade is having a dental assembly. They're having a dental assembly. Yeah. So Good hygiene in our mouth. That's right. That's very important too. Um, so if you want to go ahead and start. All right, we're going to continue our theme of nonfiction. Today we're going to read Natural Disasters, Hurricanes by Scholastic. I'm actually going to hold it like this because the way the, well, I guess we'll give it a try. There we go. All right. What are hurricanes? Hurricanes are powerful storms. They are sometimes called tropical cyclones. These huge storms start in the tropical oceans. In the United States, they bring disaster to eastern coastal areas. So down here, this infographic shows us the hurricane risk zone. So if we were up here in Montana or, or Oregon and Washington, no hur hurricanes. But where we live, we're kind of in the moderate risk. We might get some, we might not. If we were down here in Florida, high risk of a hurricane. How do hurricanes form? Hurricanes form when warm air rises over the ocean water. The air rising, the rising air, excuse me, gathers moisture. It leaves behind a pocket of cold air. This air rises too. As the air continues to rise, clouds form over the ocean. Wind causes the clouds to spin. A calm eye forms in the center of the spinning clouds. Beyond the eye wall, outer clouds spin fast. Hurricanes have wind speeds of at least 74 miles per hour. Well, that's faster than a lot of cars are driving that's on the highway. Right. <laughs> that's really fast. Hurricane damage. Hurricanes lose strength as they move over land. I wonder if that's why part of the United States is not at risk because there's no water, ocean water near them. Mm -hmm. Their strength is measured with a Saffir Simpson scale. Hurricanes bring down powerful line, bring down power lines and cause power outages. They destroy buildings and trees. And over here we have the scale, category one, all the way to a category five. So the wind speeds are 157 miles per hour. Woo! It's definitely faster than cars are going. Winds also push huge waves of water onto land. These storm surges can be more than 20 feet tall. Storm surges bring the most damage to people in old, weak houses. Low areas near the coast are also in danger. Storm surges and heavy rains cause flooding. Rising waters can ruin homes and businesses. Floods block or destroy roads too. People are often stranded. They may have to travel in boats. Predicting disasters. Hurricane season lasts from May through November, but meteorologists, right, our scientists who study weather, make predictions before the season begins. They look at climate information from past hurricane seasons. This helps forecast future hurricane activity. Wow, thanks so much, meteorologists. Meteorologists look for patterns in the pattern of past hurricanes. They create models that help predict future hurricane paths. Predictions help keep people safe. 
Look at this nice model down here. And then here's a hurricane profile about one of the hurricanes that has recently hit. Hurricane Katrina. It hit in, in August of 2005. And it hit the southern United States, especially New Orleans, Louisiana. And it was a Category 5. Wow. People usually have time to prepare for hurricanes. They stock up on food and gas. They also board up windows. Many people evacuate before powerful hurricanes. When hurricanes strike, it's best to be far from the coast. Oh, and our nice little glossary to help us with any words we might not know. What a great little book about hurricanes. That is a great book. All right, well, thank you for joining us. Um, we hope that you have a wonderful, long, extended weekend, and then we will see you on Wednesday morning. Have a great night. Good night.